TIFUI might have interacted with a pedophile. I'm a writer. A few days ago, someone asked me to write a shrinking story. Basically, shrinking stories are a fetish genre where you imagine someone being reduced to the size of an insect and living interacting with others from that perspective. That's okay, I guess. What disturbed me about this client is that he wanted a story about a 15-year-old boy shrinking. And then his small brother, 14, taking advantage of this to force him to perform sexual and other disturbing acts. The client wanted this written out in painstaking detail. It was Frankie disturbing. This client actually sent me a picture of a young boy. I don't know if it's real or not. Maybe AI. For inspiration. I feel disturbed by all this. The client claims that is a hobby. That this won't even be published. Which makes it even weirder. I'm just wondering. If you are into pedophile underage erotica. Wouldn't you be inclined to live out these fetishes at some point or am I just overthinking and judging an innocent person over a harmless fantasy? What do I do? Should I reach out to law enforcement? Should I talk to someone? P.S. I have actual conversations and word document outlines of what he sent me. T.L. Dear I think I almost worked for a pervert. This doesn't seem harmless. Especially with a pic involved. I don't know if there's enough to go to the police with but don't interact with this guy anymore. Kind of feel that goes without saying. If you are producing porn. Written. Phone sex. Videos. Whatever. People will approach you to ask you to talk, write about underage people. You must not have been doing this long if it's the first time it happened to you. Unless they are sending you things that strongly imply they have offended, actively plan to offend. There is nothing to report. And by the way, most of the time they are telling you they did something bad, something bad was done to them. They are just writing their fantasy. You lost your virginity at a young age to your mom? Yeah. Totally face with rolling eyes. Just block and move on. In the future. Weed these people out by stating you do not write about minors. Done thumbs up. Should I reach out to law enforcement? Should I talk to someone? If he didn't send you actual sir. E.g. the boy masturbating, having sex. Then it's not a crime and just adds to an already flooded backlog of meaningless reports. In case you live in the UK or Canada. Writing a sexual story about a 15-year-old would be illegal and you would be able to be arrested. I'm just wondering, if you are into pedophile underage erotica, wouldn't you be inclined to live out these fetishes at some point or am I just overthinking and judging an innocent person over a harmless fantasy? What do I do? If you want to have kinky sex but nobody wants to have kinky sex with you, would you be inclined to rape someone? Having a certain sexual desire doesn't mean that someone would be inclined to force someone. I.e. A child who doesn't want it. For that sex. There's a lot of people who fantasize about teenagers. Use stories and fictions for outlets. But aren't going out and hunting people down. Typically the abusers who do are the ones without healthy outlets for their desires or just have a need to exert power over others. If he started mentioning plans to abuse a specific child, then you would be obliged to report it. There are also people who pay small-time game programmers to create games based on what you've described, but usually in a situation where the person, or whatever character, becomes small and now they have to survive giant insects or getting eaten by a human. I believe the term is, vor, because the shrunken main character always gets eaten and digested by a human in the end. I have some nasty kinks and I get off on the thought of being assaulted during sex. I also love non-consensual erotica. I would not like to be actually be assaulted or for anyone to be raped. What is in my mind is in my mind. If you are into pedophile underage erotica, 
wouldn't you be inclined to live out these fetishes at some point? Some people into pedo erotica will live out their fantasy, but probably not because of the erotica. I know this is a controversial topic, but I think it replace more than it encourage. This is a super difficult topic. As some have pointed out, writing such texts may be illegal in some countries and not in others. It seems like a sane choice not to get into this situation at all. As Op has also stated he isn't. Good. Where I live, depictions of underage children in sexual situations, including drawings, comics are illegal. Same with sex dolls that look like children. Not sure about text Nabokov's Lolita is certainly allowed. But recently there was a case where an elderly man was jailed for owning multiple sex dolls looking like 10-year-olds or something like that. And I'm seriously unsure about whether that is the best choice as a society, both in terms of security and morality. As some have pointed out in this thread, Japan allows drawings of underage porn and have a much lower rate of child molestation than in other countries. But is that just a coincidence? I would love to see some stronger evidence for that connection. I also wonder if the complete condemnation of pedophilia is really the best approach to child molestation. Molesting children in any way is a horrible crime and should always be punished hard. But my impression is that most people with pedophilia are born like that they don't make an active choice of being turned on by children. It's just how it is. Like with most, all, other sexualities, it must be incredibly hard to live with that. And every day choosing the morally right path by not following your biological urges. While society indirectly tells you, you are an abomination of some kind. And I wonder how many people actually live like that, with a suppressed pedophilia of some degree, without ever acting on it, if they are given an outlet, drawings, dolls, AI images, robots, anything that is artificial and does not include real children, would that make it easier to resist their biological urge? Or would it make it harder? Because it triggers it? I have no clue what the right answers are. I just think that we as a society need to abandon some of the stigma around pedophilia and have a grown-up conversation about it. Remove yourself from the situation now before you get in serious trouble. If you're in UK, what he's written is a crime and you would commit a crime if you wrote the story. I'd report him on the off chance the child in the picture is real. Nothing to really report. I would say don't accept the commission though so you can keep your reputation clean. Nothing destroys an artist, writer's career faster than producing a questionable piece for a client. Who turns out to be a pedophile later down the road? Better safe than sorry. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.